This is a quick snapshot of how my hair was before the wash. This is me under the bowl getting my hair washed and she's using some type of conditioner um, that goes to cool, make your scalp feel really cool and breathable, sort of like a mint feel. Um, I think the mint word is what I'm looking for and maybe some, some other word that I'm looking for, but I can just feel the cool breeze blowing through my scalp. All right, so I'm done with the wash. I need to breathe. I'm finally up this mask. feel like you can't breathe. But anyway, I'm finally done with the wash. My hair feels very clean. Um, I'm trying to show you my scalp and see um, that it is clean. I really don't have buildup. I don't really use a bunch of products throughout the week. Um, this is the sides. I have a lot of new growth. Um, this is eight weeks in between retwist. Uh, my edges in the perimeter, as you can see, I'm showing you how thin it is, the new growth. And then the other side, I'm going to show you the thinness. And then as you can see, my edges right there, you can see to where it, it feels like it looks like it's not really filled in like hair loss right there. But it's really the thinness of the lock or on my perimeters, perimeter is very thin. Um, but again, this is eight weeks in between a retwist. This is how my scalp is looking after an eight week. I have a lot of frizz when I need a retwist. Um, and I don't like this stage. I know a lot of people like this stage where you can't, you don't see your actual scalp. But to me, it just looks, I don't know, it's like an unkept look. I really don't like it. I like it to look real put together. So when I get to this stage, it's really nerve wracking for me. But anyway, this is eight weeks in between. This is when she started the retwist in the back. And in comparison to the eight weeks of new growth at the top, you can see there's a major difference. You can see that scalp look right there. Um, now we're working our way to the top, almost at the finishing end here. Um, it took about maybe an hour or less um, I did bring a foam with me um, with Jane Carter, but I left. I'm sorry, I didn't bring it with me. I left it home. So she is using gel. This is. All right. This is the finished result of my retwist. Um, as you can see, the parts are really crispy. If you can look right here. I do see that I'm going to have a lot of, I think that I'm going to have a lot of thinning on the edges right here. See, my locks on the edges are really, really thin. So we're thinking that around my perimeter, eventually we're going to start uh, joining. Look like I got some peeled up a little bit. I don't know what that is. We're going to start joining the perimeter together. I mean, some the perimeter together we're going to start joining some locks together on the edges like these two can join together because it's salty and look at that eventually that might break um and we're going to join some of these together um but as you can see my length uh let me see they're definitely growing um on the side um uh, remind you i did did a i have an undercut in the back and i did that because a lot of my locks in the back were um they were thinning just like this one right here where it go bear with me they were getting very very thin like this lock right here and eventually it broke. So I just went to the barbershop and I told her to um, just shave the back of my head, the back of the perimeter right here, so that it will be able to grow back and I will be able to restart those, but start those a lot bigger than what they originally started. What I think was I originally asked for micro locks. I knew I wanted sister locks, but I just knew that I didn't want to keep up the maintenance. And at that time, they were unaffordable. So I asked them to put uh, micro locks in my hair. But what happens is my perimeter is, I don't know if it's thinning over time or if then when they were started, that they were 
they were not proportioned i don't know but they're thinning and then they're breaking so and it was like that a lot in the back like the first maybe two to three rows so i just went ahead and shaved those off to restart those and i'm definitely not going to shave my sides or anything so what she said was when i come back we're going to start joining together those that we see that are too um thin we did that up here somewhere we joined i joined this one and so see how that one is a lot thicker now and one of them this one right here i lost this i do not know why guys um i once had the style where it was the two string two strand twist and i wore that for maybe four weeks and then i pulled while it was still in the two strand twist i pulled my hair up in a ponytail um and it was not tight at all when i took my hair out of the elastic band that was broke or it it broke off um i am really really interested in coloring my locks and i do i want a natural color i would like to have brown in my hair but i'm afraid to do that at this moment because some of my locks or a lot of my locks are pretty much thinning out i want to say that that's only occurring around the perimeter but i don't know if you guys tell me around the middle they feel thick in the middle like they feel very very healthy um but right here just like in the scalp part i know it's like very close to the part that i just had my hair retwisted re but no i'm saying that as you work your way down the strand like this one uh let me see let me come in you see how this thinning is right here can you guys see that let me see if i go like this that's how it is i hope and pray that it's not like that throughout the middle of my head but it's like that a lot around the perimeter um if a, if anyone else experienced the thinning as their hair grew around the perimeter tell me what you did about it or in my case i'm just going to join some locks together like i'm going to join these two together i'm going to join these two together um anywhere else that i see that is thinning out i'm going to eventually join them with another lock and hopefully that resolve it no brows are done right now no lashes is on none of that this is just how it looks straight out of the salon so i just wanted to come and give you guys uh view i believe that she did a very very good job i love the way she uh makes my parts look very clean um i love the way how sleek my hair looks i'm very satisfied with her service her customer service is bomb she takes her time she listens the atmosphere is very welcoming it's comfortable um the timing you know it's not bad i get in in my opinion i get in i get out in a timely manner i don't know how many locks i have but i will put that in the comments as you can see i have a lot of locks i have a lot of locks and my lock parts are very small in the past, my locks or my retwist will take about two hours. I think it takes her about an hour or so, maybe even under that. Um, and then I sit under the dryer, but look her up. I will put her information in my uh, description box. I'm very happy with the service. Um, my hair afterwards, like the wash feels so amazing. I don't know what products they are, but they feel so amazing. They do not weigh my hair down. My hair doesn't feel oily or heavy, but it does feel moisturized after uh, she washes my hair. Um, I've been locked down for almost two and a half years. And again, it will appear to be longer in the back if I did not have that undercut, if I did not have my back. I don't know if you guys can see that because I'm trying to angle my camera to the best of my ability. Um, but anyway, so 
this is two years. I am still contemplating whether I want to color my hair or whether I just want to take this set of locks out completely and start over and actually get sister locks. I've been following sister locks a lot. I am in Kansas City. I will probably not get them installed in Kansas City. I will probably have to travel and get them done, but I'm very interested in sister locks. Or I will just keep the set of locks that I have on my head. So um, yes, please subscribe, support, and look out for the next video. Peace.